all the religions in this world are man-made. So they thought of what will be good for people. What do people desire psychologically? What can I give them to secure their comforts? So they thought of this system of religion. They thought of good deeds. They thought about how to worship in front of certain statue. They thought about blessing systems in terms of reward. These are all man thought of. People made up all these religions in this world. But this Bible, this Christianity, this faith in God and Jesus Christ is not man-made. And that's what we're studying as we study each book of the Bible, starting from the Old Testament. God told people what to believe, and God told what to write to be included in the Bible. So it is wrong, and it is sin against God to believe in any other gods than God himself of the Bible. So back in, we're talking about like 2,500 years ago, and people wanted to believe more than God in terms of their God. So they were kind of having multiple religions. Israelites, they wanted to believe in God continually, but at the same time, they wanted to worship and believe in other gods as well. Because they, they look good. Because their system of thoughts sound pretty reasonable to them. So in those days, many people, Israelites, believed in God and other gods. So they would come to this, this holy place, God's temple in Jerusalem, to worship God. But some other times, they would go to different places of different synagogues, different temples of other gods, and worship other gods. And God was not happy. I will pronounce my judgment because of the wickedness of idolatry. Now once again, we don't believe in any other gods. We don't bow down and worship any other images or statues. But the true meaning of idolatry is if we love anyone else, anything else more than God, that is idolatry. Do you have any idols in your life? Maybe someone or something that you love more than God? Maybe someone or something that you want to spend more time with? Say, all these are idolatry. And God says, you have sinned against me through your idolatry. And God is merciful. God is still loving and caring. He invites us to come back to Him. Please come back to me and please restore your holy relationship with me. God says, I am like your spiritual husband. I am your spiritual father. I am your family. Come back to me. God is calling us. And we're talking about that spiritual relationship, that loving relationship, that responsible relationship. God, Jesus, is our spiritual father and husband. We are God's family. And worshiping an idol, having an idolatry in this world, is betrayal against our God. Now, before the end of the world, we have this last chance to repent and come into the presence of God in His holiness. This is God's calling, invitations to come back into His presence. Get rid of idolatry in our lives and build a strong relationship once again with our spiritual husband, spiritual father, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ.